Good afternoon, YouTube, or should I say good evening? This is your guy, Damian Cryer. Um, I hope that this day finds each and every one of you in the best of health, best of spirits, and, um, you know, I just got off work today, and um, <laughs> I decided to make this uh, short video, short vlog. Um, I see the comment section. Well, yeah, let, let me start over. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you new subscribers who subscribe to my channel. Um, I can't believe, I can't begin to tell each and every one of you guys how much I really, really appreciate you guys. I mean, you know, I really appreciate you guys for subscribing. I appreciate you guys for all the wonderful comments in the comment section the wonderful encouragement um the wonderful advice that you guys have been giving me you know and um you know i try to respond to everyone's um comments but the channel seems to be getting grow growing um a lot more bigger sometimes it's always hard to respond to every comment at one time but I do um, respond. I try not to just press the like button or the love button. I actually try to write something in the comment section to let you guys know that I hear you, I appreciate it, and I did get the message and uh, how much I really appreciate it. Well, um, really don't know where to start because I really had no plans of doing this today. Said it's been a long 10 hour day. Um, I start work at five in the morning, so I'm up at 4.20 every day. So, and then I get off at 3.30 p.m., 10 hours. So, um, I read a lot of comments. People wanting to know, well, people are asking, well, Damien, aren't you married? If you're married, what are you doing living alone? Why did you move into your own apartment? Uh, what's going on with that? Why this, why that? And you know what? You have a right to ask me those questions. You have a right to ask me those questions. And I do appreciate the questions. You know, um, um, you know, there's a lot going on in my life, uh, personally, that, um, you know, I try to watch what I say because I'm one of those people, I try to give off positive energy and um, I don't like to give off negative energy because negative energy sends the wrong message. Um, since I've been on YouTube a couple of months, I've actually saved two people's lives who are thinking about taking their own life. Um, and I was glad and feel very blessed that I was able to do that. You know, and dealing with my own problems, my own situations in my personal life, I still try to be there no matter what. You know, there comes a time where you have to take other people's feelings and consideration into neat, I mean, into account or into consideration. And sometimes you have to put their needs before yours, even though you're going through something. Um, so I just try to be one of those people who, who always try to be there no matter what. No matter what. I try to keep a smile on my face. <laughs> that way, you know, you can see just what type of person that I am. I smile through the thin of it. I smile through the thick of it. I smile even during the middle of it. You know, and sometimes it always, sometimes it kind of hurts to smile because sometimes you can see the pain in someone's smile. You can see the pain in their eyes. You know, so, uh, I guess my situation happened a few months ago, let's say, May 25th of this year um, I received a knock at the door one day I had just gotten off work doing a 12 no I'm sorry doing a 10 hour shift it was raining really really bad um, so it took me actually two hours to get home even though only at the time I lived 15 minutes from my job but the rain was coming down so hard that I had to pull over because the windshield wipers on my car at the time didn't work I turn the motor on and they'll try to come up to move a little bit, but they would not 
actuate and actually move back and forth to get the water off the window so I was able to continue driving. But I was unable to drive because the weather had gotten too bad. So I had ended up pulling over and uh, had to wait for another ride to come. That individual didn't get off work until two hours later so I had to sit there in the car and wait two hours. But to make the long story short, when I finally got picked up um, and got to the house, finally, so it was like, I probably got home like six. I got off at like 3.30, uh, I think I made it home like six. So anyway, when I got home, before I could even get my work clothes off and get in the shower, now mind you, I'm drenched and wet, because I did try to get out and walk for a minute, then I changed my mind because the rain got harder, then I got back in the car, then I got out again when it slowed down, I got back in the car, and it still didn't work out. So, before I could even get the wet work clothes off me that I had on, I had a knock at the door, and there was a young lady, she had to be like 12 or 13 years old. So I'm like, well, I recognized her from being a close friend's, uh, uh, um, a really close friend's relative, young lady um, who's, an, who's adopted. He, she's an adopted young lady. Uh, so she was wanting to know if I was there and I answered the door and then the older lady steps out of the van in a pouring down rain and she says, hey Damien, you need to get to Lakeside Park immediately. So your son Deontay is missing. I'm like, my son is missing. And uh, so, uh, ended up going out to Lakeside Park. You know, his truck was sitting out there, his fishing equipment, and he was nowhere to be found. You know, you know, anybody who knows me knows my children. My children love to do what I like to do. You know, I'm dad, so they follow in my footsteps um, in certain ways. Um, like, I'm not a big time ball player. My thing is water sports. I love water sports. So fishing happens to be the main water sports that I love. Now, with that being said, uh, wow, this is kind of hard. This is actually really hard. Um, so I knew my son would not just leave his stuff there and just walk away from his fishing equipment. You know, we pay good money for this type of stuff. So in a way, um, there was no sign of my son. And um, I really had a really bad feeling in my stomach. A really, really bad feeling. I kept calling his cell phones. At the time he had two cell phones that he carried. Um, I, just, I just had a bad feeling. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit until the next day when I went out there to the pond, Lakeside Pond, and they, I got there right around the time that they were uh, around the time that they was pulling my son out the water. Uh, he had passed away the night before, um, which nobody knew that he was in the water. He was 28 years old. Uh, and there's a, actually a picture of him, a obituary picture. Um, yeah, his name was Deontay Atuan Cooper. He was pretty much my twin. He was my oldest son. Um, 28 years old. And then there is my son Akeem. Then there's my son Damon Prince. Then there's my uh, son Darian Cryer. Then there's my daughter Margaret Renee Foster. Um, so May 25th is when my life had really changed. Um, you know, dealing with that situation is not an easy situation. You know, there was a lot of unanswered questions I had in the beginning. Since then, I've got the toxicology report, um, and I got some, some, some closure. You know, but, you know, it's like with my son passing was the beginning of the end for me. Uh, I guess before that happened with my son, I had already had some suspicions at home about some things that I wasn't comfortable with, things that I started noticing within my home. 
and uh, I guess um, things escalated from there. You know, so I had to be the bigger person. Um, I just got my stuff and left, and the right thing was for me to get my own place and move out on my own. So I feel like I was hit with a double whammy. Um, <laughs> wow, yeah, I got hit with a double whammy. You know, me and my wife, we talk from time to time. Um, it's really hard for me to face her now um, and talk to her. Um, I wanted some answers to why things went, went the way that they went and I couldn't get the answers that I was looking for from her. Um, been married for 12 years, been together 13 years, you know. So I wanted answers, I wanted closure, because I was dealing with a lot, man. I mean, Jesus, losing my son and then my family pretty much, you know, uh, really, really hard on me. Um, still trying to stay positive and move forward. Today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. This will be my second week in a row being on my own. Uh, we separated a month and a half ago. I stayed with one of my cousins for 30 days and you know, self-esteem was shot and stuff like that. Um, as I said, me and the wife, we talk sometimes off and on. Um, Um, I really do miss my son Darian because me and him do everything together. Now that turned from me and then my son's life every day, seven days a week, to you know seeing him on weekends now. Uh, that's a hard blow for me. I just had one of my kids move to um, Houston, Texas, so I won't get to see him regularly um, like I used to. But back to what I was saying as far as I had my suspicions. Well, when you have suspicions, you go above and beyond to find out, especially when a person doesn't want to come forward and just say, what the heck is going on? So, uh, you know, I did something that I did not want to do. I did something that I thought I'd never see myself doing because I thought I wanted to know the truth to give me some type of closure and I'm not going to lie, nobody knows about this but me. Well, until now. I end up spending some money to find out the truth. And uh, I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know why all of a sudden my life changed like that. And I guess I wasn't prepared for the truth that I found out on my own. Again, I had to spend a few dollars to find this information out. And I'm going to tell you, it hurts. It hurts. But today is a new day. Um, like I said, I'm moving forward from this. I guess the message in this is what I'm trying to say, guys, is no matter what type of obstacles life throws your way, no matter what type of fears that you have in your life. Don't never be afraid to look closer at things. You know, don't be afraid to look closer at things. Don't give up, man. Do not give up because life goes on. Do I love my wife? Hell yeah, of course I do. I'd be a dummy to say that I don't because you can't let anger define you as a person you can't let anger define how you feel towards another individual. You know, you have to be the bigger person. I'm 47, I'm not a kid anymore. I thought I could handle the pain better if it ever happened, but I guess I was wrong. But I'm moving forward, I'm moving past that. You know, the time that I have now when I come home, it's pretty much just me. I come home from work. Um, I recently joined back up for Planet Fitness where I'm back working out trying to get those things back right again. Probably can't see them, but I'm trying to get them back right. Uh, yeah, recently started growing my hair back out a little bit. Uh, so when I come home from work now, it's like, I don't have a lot to do, but I have to start making making things to do. 
making things for myself to do, making a schedule. You know, you can keep yourself busy and keep your mind motivated to keep your mind off the pain, the hurt, uh, things that's bothering you. The only bad thing about it is when you come home and when you go to bed and that's when that clock starts ticking in your mind and now you're lonely again and you start thinking. You know, some people would say, hey man, you should just go do your thing. Man, this all kind of fish in the sea or, no offense women, I, did, I, I shouldn't have said that. There's plenty of women out there you know, who would love to be with a man like you. Same job, 12, 13 years, got your own place, halfway decent looking, well, sort of decent looking, I guess. Um, got my own vehicles, all paid for. Uh, you should be out there doing this and partying and doing this and doing this. Well, again, I said I was married 12 years in a relationship for 13 years. I'm not the type of guy that jumps in and out of cars. Um, I don't go from one woman to the next woman. Um, what kind of example will I be setting for my kids by doing something like that? What type of example will I be setting for my nine-year-old son to be doing something like that? You know, so that's just not something that I want to do is jump in and out of cars you know I'm I mean I'm not cut like that I'm not gonna go from one woman and jump right into another situation you know sometimes you know 13 years in the relationship is a long time I never wanted to the end um, you know when you buy a house lawnmowers and weed whackers and you, buy, you get ladders to start doing gutters on top of the roof and stuff and you got your little routine when you come home, take your boat out. I haven't, I haven't took my boat out in weeks. Um, you kind of lose your routine and uh, instead of you focusing on what you're gonna do this weekend, you know, you have to focus now on stuff that you shouldn't be focused on like stress how to deal with it, what the other party's doing, who they would, they're probably laughing, having a good time while you're miserable. But am I miserable? Absolutely not. Was I in the beginning? Absolutely, I was. Of course I was miserable. I'm not gonna sit there and say I wasn't. But, you know, I went from a house to an apartment. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but when you work as hard as I've worked, you know, throughout my entire life to build up you know, a foundation to hopefully one day to have everything paid for before you retire. Um, and to be a good role model in my community that I lived in for several years since, by, since getting the house together. You know, to have it all snatched from you at the blink of an eye. On top of dealing with my son's passing, you know, it's not easy. You know, I think about it every day. I think about my son a lot. Uh, but every day I wake up, I still go to work. You know, lately I, 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 you know, I go to work when I'm distanced from everybody. You know, I know a lot of guys that go through similar situations. They start drinking and using drugs. They lose their job. They do stuff that gets them you know, put on the news. You know, I'm just not that type of person because I believe everything happens for a reason. No matter how much pain has been caused, no matter how much damage has been done, everything happens for a reason, guys. So, the reason for this blog right here was because the comment section has been blowing up with the comments wanting to know what the heck's going on, why this or why that. Yes, I am single. I mean, I'm single, I guess. Uh, married, separated though. So this is all new to me because this is my first marriage and I don't believe in marriage. I don't come from a family that believes in marriage. Um, so this is my first separation and this is all new to me. So I believe that the wrong thing to do you know they always say the best way 
to get over a man is to get up under another one. And, you know, I just don't buy that. You know, I don't believe that. I believe that when you go through stuff like this, that you need to take time for yourself to reinvent yourself, get your mind right, focus on things that you want to do in the future, focus on goals that you want to accomplish that, that you never accomplished, you know, things that bring you self-esteem back. So guys, this vlog, vlog, is basically just to give you guys a piece of me. Um, like I said, it wasn't easy for me to do this because I know a lot of people are gonna be watching this. Um, I just hope that with me making this vlog, vlog, I'm sorry. Oh God. Vlog, 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 vlog. Vlog. <laughs> vlog that it does not send the wrong message. It's just that instead of me trying to answer several thousand uh, comments in the comment section by you know typing them in why not just make this vlog oh god i did it again vlog vlog did i say it right vlog vlog on oh, what's going on with damien crier so now you guys know, leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, was this a good idea to make this video? Was it not a good idea to make this video? And why do you think it was not a good idea to make this video? Uh, there was probably going to be the only one like this because tomorrow was a new day and the sun always sets and rises every 24 hours um with that being said you know uh you guys have a blessed day and with this video right here i hope that this video encourages somebody who's going through something similar because doing something stupid is not going to resolve the issue it's not going to solve the problem it's not going to bring that person back in your life you know, you have to find a way within your life to deal with this type of stuff, man. Reach inside your heart and find a way. Get down on your knees and pray. Have I prayed for the situation to turn around and come back? No. No, absolutely not. Because I could not handle another blow like that. You know, um, I just want to be a part of my son's life. Um, that's, you know... I've always wanted to be. So guys, I'm going to end this vlog. Take me a sip of this. You guys know I'm always drinking this crap. Not good for me. It does not give me energy. It just has a good flavor. Working in the steel mill, a brother be tired sometimes. So I try to drink something to give me a little bit of boost. It's either this for 99 cent or a little bitty shot of five hour energy shot for like four bucks. Skip that crap. I'll pay 99 cents for this and drink this. That'll give me all I need. Till next time, guys. I'm Damian Cryer, and I really, really appreciate you guys watching and listening. It really means a lot to me. Um, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Push that button. Push the like button. Push the dislike button. Just let me know that my story reached somebody who needed uh some type of advice of how to deal with bad situations uh okay guys um i'll talk to you guys later on actually really really soon got something really crazy coming up that i think you guys are going to enjoy <laughs> i always say when y'all see what i'm gonna do don't judge me <laughs> just enjoy it until next time i'm damien peace